What's up, guys? So this is the first Pillars of Eternity. I've already played a little bit of Pillars of Eternity 2, Deadfire, but I quickly noticed that it's very tied with story from this game. I know this is an older game, but I really want to know more of the background. So that way, when I play Pillars of Eternity 2, I understand a little bit more what's going on. So we're going to go ahead and dive into this. So let's go ahead and start a new game. I have not done anything past this point i messed with some options a little bit and that's about it so let's get to it we need path of the damp Alright, before we keep going, I want to give a shout out because I had some followers while I was at work today. Green Kangaroo, The Gaming Raptor, and Sergeant Finger Plug. Thank you so much for the follows today. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I'll throw a follow your way as well. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Alright, let's keep moving. Alright, here we go. Character creation. Uh, we're going to do mail. Um, I think we're going to go godlike on this one. All right, so they attack 25% less endurance, their damage is increased. When reduced 50% endurance fire, got like glow like metal in the forge, gain a damage reduction and doing a small amount of fire damage to any creature who hits them. Okay. Every encounter, when reduced below 75, 50, and 25 endurance, moon godlike regenerates waves of healing moonlight and restores endurance to them and their allies. That'd be good. Wallspring of Light grants a bonus to might, constitution, and dexterity when endurance is below 50%. This could be really. I just don't know how well this is going to scale. Um, hmm. Kind of like the fire god, like. This seems pretty legit. Um. You know what? We're going to do moon. I just have the feeling the healing is going to be super useful. Oh, um, I actually, I think my audio is all messed up. Hold on. I'm so smart, guys. Why don't we actually have my audio on? I 
Oh, you can change like the stature. Oh, that's right, because they're like of these races. I want to go human stature. All right, here we go. All right, druid. Um, cipher. Starting ability power. Cyphers can directly target allies and enemies with powerful soul focused effects. These powers cost focus, which cyphers build up through use of soul whip, right? Spirit shift. They can turn forms. Okay. This is tough. Faith and Conviction. Fallons have an inherited bonus to all their defenses. Over the course of their value of this bonus may shift based on their reputations the Paladin gains no, relative to the behaviors. Oh, so this can change how it depends on how we play the game. Awesome. I think we're gonna do a cipher. All right, choose two powers. Um, let's see here. Actually, I'm thinking about it. I don't know what I want to play, guys. Spirit Renew Barbarian. I really have no idea what I want to play. Let's do Ranger. Companion, we are going to do... Um, let's do Wolf. Wolf Companion. So our abilities, we're gonna bump up our might quite a bit. Uh, perception. Yep, that'll work. We'll get a might bonus here. All right, background. Um, let's 
do be a drifter. Let's get the stealth and then uh, mechanics. Because this is going to be a person kind of dealing with traps and stuff like that. Looks good. Huh? I'll lead the way. Stand together. Steady does it. Let's do it. The caravan master finishes addressing the group, his bushy red mustache and sagging jowls quivering as if for emphasis. Everybody stays close to the wagons, got it? Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you were planning a stroll through those ruins up there. He nods toward a looming black mass on the hillside. Whole area's crawling with hut-dwelling types who'd be happy to stick an axe in you for trespassing. So mind that you don't track mud on their sacred blazing rocks. Tonight, everybody stays put, and in the morning, we'll get the path cleared. Gilded veils less than a day out. Understood? At last, the caravan master turns to you, frowning as he looks you over. Touch of the rumbling rock, could be. There's a stinging beetle around here, carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards. Unless you don't drink water, of course. Which case, you'll be dead in a day. There's a berry grows in these parts, small and pink, called a springberry, about the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms the insides. Should get you through the night. You might check around, see if you can find some. Meanwhile, I'll see if we can scare you up some water. I know you want to hunt before it gets much darker, but see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. Odima looks over his shoulder to his assistant, a lanky, intense man named Sparfell, who carries an old sun-bleached bow. Sparfell nods and slides the worn bow over his shoulder. Where would I find these berries? They grow on a bush that's common around here, kind of funny looking. You'll know it when you see it. Doubt you'd have to go far off the road to find one. What are these ruins? Nothing you won't see on half the hills of Air Glonfoth. Money to be made selling their knickknacks in Defiance Bay, if you don't mind getting stuck with Glonfoth and arrows now and again. They didn't build them, but I'll be the effigy if they don't watch them like a mother bear. Of course, all the ones around here have been ransacked ten times over. Got nothing left worth half a pawn, so I hear. Your character attributes, skills, class, race, culture, and, and sex may all open up options you in dialogue. These options are not necessarily superior to the other responses, but give you a wider variety of choices to select from. The manner in which someone responds to your choices depends on the individual personality and attitude. Who did build these ruins? Got different names for them. Settlers called them Ingwithans. Nobody that liked them enough to stop them becoming ruins tell you that much. Is it dangerous out here? Not if you hurry about your business, and not if the weather holds up. What kind of weather do they get out here? This time of year, rain mostly, and wind. But there's a different kind of wind out here time to time. Locals call it a beowick, born out of the ether, the spirit's path. Never seen it myself, never care to. What are these huge rocks coming up out of the ground? They don't got Audra where you come from? Well, it just grows up out of the ground like this. Goes deep like tree roots. Some of it all the way to the heart of the world, you believe the stories. It's more like a shell than a proper rock. Easier to work if you're a mason. Got all kinds of strange properties. Seems to have some kind of life of its own. Dies if it gets dug up. Loses its luster. 
Folks think it probably grew at one point or another, but not these days. The soul butchers in Defiance Bay use it for different things. I've heard tell it can hold a man's soul, but I don't care to see it. Got enough to worry about without seeing something like that. Leave. I'll go see about those berries then. Hold on. Take someone with you. I know you're not some helpless tenderfoot. Not like most of this lot. But you drop dead. I don't want to be looking for the body. Got a schedule to keep. He scans over the traveler's resting his eyes at a lengthy eyes at length on a sturdy, armor clad woman who has spent the journey's night sleeping on uneven ground without blanket or pillow. Kalisha. Kalisha! The woman looks up on her own time. He needs to find some spring berries. Watch that he doesn't drop dead. No promises. What kind of guide says something like that? Kind you can afford. Don't listen to her. You're in good hands. And I pay too well, if anything. Redeema chuckles and shakes his head. He looks at you. He casts a sidelong glance at her. Off with you. Hayden should have supplies. See that you're equipped before you head out. We're in harsh country. Get your berries and hurry back. And if you get so much as a tickle of wind, you drop everything and you run. Something in the air tonight. If it's a Beowick, we'll shelter in the ruins. Hut dwellers be damned. You heard the man. Let's get going before you keel over. Got it. it. Alright, let's see here. Let's grab any loot that's sitting around. What is all this? Anyone need supplies? I've got sundries. He's a man wearing a simple but mostly neat clothes. He's transfixed, however, by a ragged tear in the seam of his tunic. Brought a whole wagon full of goods to sell, but not enough shirts for the road. He scratches one cheek with his knuckles. It's covered it with uneven stubble, as if it hasn't quite gotten used to shaving on the road. I say, is there anything you need? I've got some basic traveling supplies for sale, if you'd like to take a look. Let's see what you got. Alright, so here's our money. I'm not for sure what that is. Oh, we can't even buy any potions or anything. All right, I guess we'll just keep moving. Exploration is key in Pillars of Eternity. As you make your way through the eastern reach, open the area map to see what parts of the map you've already been 
two, and what's left to explore. All right. I'll have your water soon enough. Stream's not going anywhere. Right, nothing left down here, so let's move back up the map. Actually, let's cross over this bridge. Use tab key to highlight interactive objects in the environment. This is recent. Not good. I wonder if there's like a setting that like keeps it set on them. There we go, that's better. Let's check by those outcroppings. Yeah. Hmm? Let's Sometimes a weapon or spell simply isn't well... Sometimes a weapon or spell simply isn't well suited to penetrate the enemy's defense reduction. When an attack hits, the DR will wipe out all but a small percentage of the incoming damage. You'll hear your characters complain about it when it happens. Take heed, note the damage type and being blocked, and switch to a weapon or spell that does different damage type. When are your characters being engaged in melee when characters are engaged they immediately stop moving if they move again they will provoke a disengagement attack all right berries Yeah, 
You're the kind of a mystery to rest. You're kind of a mystery to the rest of the caravan. Just some kind of wanderer, the way I hear it. That sort of thing tends to happen with orphans. Yeah? How's it happen? How is it you happen to come here? I never had a place to call home, still looking. You've got a lot on your mind then. Hopefully things work out in the end. But in my experience, they don't always. Kaliska breathes in her surroundings. Been a long time since I've been this way, but I always did like it. Lord Redrick's offer makes a girl think. I'll give him that. You're here to settle like the rest of the lot. It's a hard offer to pass up. You won't find many offers like it in these parts. Believe me. Got, got some big plan in store. I have no idea what I'm going to do next. Completely spontaneous, huh? Interesting. Well, there's probably no hurry to make up your mind. They've got an inn and gilded veil that'll put you up as long as you need. Or so my sister tells me. Anyway, I'm wasting time here. Odin will give me an earful. Let's be on our way. Why are you here? Kaliska sighs unevenly. Her eyes search the ground at her feet. My sister moved out here some time back. She sent me a letter. She seemed worried. But that's how she always is. This time, though, she asked me to come out. And that's got me a little worried. I haven't seen her in ages. Been doing guide work in Ixmetil. But I do anything for her. She's, well, she's a much better woman than me. So I'm here, and we'll see. Odima, I've worked with before. He doesn't usually drive a route, usually drive a route this way, but he's doing it for me. Tell me about yourself. I've got simple needs. I like open skies and far horizons. I find work that lets me live that way. My family wanders too. We started in Direwood, but my parents ended up in the living lands. I've got a brother in Rawati and another in Adir. My sister in Gilded Vale, she's the only real homebody. What can you tell me about Direwood? I'm not much for history, but from what I know, it used to be part of the Adir Empire. Broke off after a war some years back. The locals here are feisty, and that's how they like it. All right, let's get back to camp. You know, I wouldn't hold my breath that Sparfell's getting you water anytime soon. He does what he feels like when he feels like it. We should check up on him first. Slap him around a little. Stream's just down the way. Come on, let's get your water.